Hello everyone, Arjun Singh here from the White Lion Creation and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will be making this amazing portal effect using the Boris Particle Illusion and After Effects. So let's get right into the video. First thing first, download and install the free standalone version of the Boris Particle Illusion. When you first open the software, you will be asked to download some additional free emitters. Of course, download it and launch the software again. So this is what it looks like. On the right side you have the timeline, viewport and work area panels. And on the left side you have the preview panel, the effect categories panel and under each category there are a lot of presets in there. So take your time and look around to see what it gets. It has some interesting stuff with a lot of ready to go effects. For today's tutorial we are going to work with the fire category. But before going further you might want to change the resolution in preferences to suit your footage. Mine is 4K so I will go with 4K and then hit apply. You can try different presets to see what looks the best for you. All you have to do is select the effect then click anywhere in the viewport and hit the play button to see the result. You see this is pretty cool. You can also change the start frame by sliding the arrow at the frame you wanted to start. Well for my portal effect I chose the Sunfire 03. Make sure you are at the first frame so the effect can start right at the beginning. And then click anywhere on the screen to add the effect. And then hit the play button to see the result. This is what we get but I'm going to change some settings till it really suits me. Honestly, at this stage, I won't tell you exactly what to do, what values to change, what to add, what to remove. It all depends on you. Because you have to tweak around the settings till you get the result you want. But the values I mostly change are the life, the number, the size, velocity, zoom. And then you can also change the size of the square box and see what it looks like. You can also try the 3D mode which gives you interesting results. To do that, set your camera mode on orbit so you can spin the effect in a kind of 3D environment. But for my effect, I will personally leave it on 2D. So don't be afraid to go in all the settings and tweak around. Change all the values till you get something really cool. You also have this deflector which allows you to simulate some kind of wall to block some particles so you can use it as a ground maybe. And you also have the force option to simulate the wind. When you are satisfied with your final effect, hit the render button. In the export window, choose your output destination and then I personally leave the other settings to default. And finally hit the start render button and you can see it's pretty fast. So let the computer do his job and when it's done, we can add this effect in our video. So open up After Effects and import your footage and effect. Create a new composition with your footage and if your clip is too long, you can set it to your convenience to get a smaller composition to work with. So I did the same for mine and then trim the composition area. In my case, I want the scene to play in reverse mode. So right click on the layer, go in time and click on time reverse layer. You can do that if you need to do it. As I applied some changements on this layer, I have to pre-comp my footage so I can do some motion tracking later on. Of course, rename it and let's do some tracking now. Under animation, click on track motion and create two tracking points. Hit the play button and let the software do his job. When it's done, create a null object, rename it and apply the motion tracking on this layer. Before adding the effect in the composition, we want to speed up the effect a little bit. For that, create a new composition using the portal effect, change the speed by going in time, click on time stretch and change the value to 50%. Then go somewhere near at the end of the layer and hit T on the keyboard to change the opacity. Click on the clock watch to create a keyframe, go at the end of the layer and change the opacity to 0. Duplicate this layer, then slide it in time near the end of the first layer. This will make our portal effects faster and longer, so duplicate the layer till the end of the composition. When you are done, go back in the first composition with our footage, and now we can add our portal in the main comp. So slide the layer till you see the beginning of the portal. If you are using your own clip, set it to the spot where you want your effect, and then parent it to the tracking layer so the effect can stick to the scene. Set the blending mode to screen and add the curve to the layer and adjust it a little bit according to your scene. At this stage you don't need to play too much with the curve effect, but as you can see, when setting the blending mode to screen, the portal has become transparent. So create a solid layer and select a dark red color. Drag the solid layer below the portal layer and draw a rough random mask. Open up the mask settings and increase the feather and decrease the mask expansion till the edge has a good fade. After link this layer to the tracking layer. 
Don't hesitate to adjust the size and position if needed later on by using keyframes. To give more animation to this solid layer, add the turbulent displace and do alt click on the evolution clock watch to open up the expression zone. Then type in time asterisk 400 and that gives this wave movement. Add the fractal noise to the solid layer, change the fractal type to dynamic progressive, bring down the contrast and brightness slightly and change the blend mode to screen. Then alt click on the evolution clock watch and type in time asterisk 400. The fractal noise gives some volume to the solid layer than having just a simple flat solid background. This is what it looks like with the portal effect. By the way, to get rid of this white cloudiness, add the curve and change the different curves till it kind of matches the color of the portal effect. Some yellow-orange tint maybe. Then add a bulge effect to give it some spherical illusion. Set it at the center of the portal, change the horizontal and vertical radius to cover the whole portal, increase or decrease the bulge height till you are satisfied. Now get back to the portal effect, if needed adjust the curves to make the portal look better in the scene. Now let's add some glowing effect on this portal. Duplicate the portal layer, change the layer in time and change the rotation also. Then drag the glow effect on the duplicated portal. Set the values as following or tweak around as you want. Then add the bulge effect, set it to the center of the portal and increase the radius to cover the portal. And then increase also slightly the bulge height. Add the same bulge effect on the first portal layer and repeat the same steps with smaller values. Now duplicate again the portal layer, but this time bring down the bulge height to the lowest value as possible and increase the radius way up till there are none effect on the edge. Now change the glow and curve effects till you have a bright light coming out of the portal. You can also add an exposure to make it brighter by increasing the exposure value. To add more volume to this effect, let's make another type of portal. So get back into the particle illusion and choose the Sunfire 2. Click in the viewport, change from 2D to 3D, click anywhere in this panel over here to have the 3D settings, change the camera mode to orbit, on the rotation change the spin value. You can change the rotation and tumble as you like, but for my effect I will stick to the spin to get a 3D side look. Again, just like the first portal, tweak around the settings till you get something cool. In my case I remove this shockwave around the effect. If you want you can also change the color. When you are done, hit the render button, rename your file and hit start render. Import your second portal in After Effects and repeat the same step as for the first one. Create a new composition, speed up the layer, duplicate the layer until at the end of the timeline, etc etc. And when it's okay, add this new portal in the main comp. Slide it in time till you start to see the effect, set it to screens, scale it till it's smaller than the first portal and link it to the tracking layer. Now create a lot of duplicates of this layer and place them around the first portal. Sometimes change the rotation and move in time to have some randomness. If it looks too awful at the beginning like this, keyframe the opacity so it can fade in. Do it for all the second portal layers by setting it at different moments. Select one of the layer and add the glow effect on it. Increase the glow radius, duplicate this glow effect again and increase the glow radius way up and decrease the glow intensity slightly. Once again duplicate this glow effect, select all three glow effects and paste it to the other layers. For now it's too orange, let's give it maybe a purple tint. Add the hue and saturation on one of the second portal layer and bring down the red hue to get a purple look and then copy this effect and paste it on the other layers. Now go on the first portal layer and add the hue and saturation and do the same but this time to have a dark purple, maybe close to a dark blue tint. Then feel free to continue tweaking around the color till you get what you desire. And now we will add some heat distortion behind of the portal. To do that we will pre-comp all the portal layers except the solid layer which you can rename so you won't be lost later. So select all the portal layers then right click and pre-comp. But make sure move all attributes is checked and everything else unchecked. Rename your comp and hit ok. Now set the blending mode to screen. Open up the comp we just created and as you can see the layers have no parent link. So go back into the main comp and copy the tracking layer and paste it in the portal composition. Then link all the layers to this tracking layer. Now we'll go back in the main comp. We could have, have simply linked the portal comp to the tracking layer right here but to do the heat distortion it won't work. To create the heat distortion, create an adjustment layer and rename it. 
Then search for Victor Blur and drag it to the adjustment layer. Increase the amount like about 30, set the vector map to the portal composition, then drag the heat layer under the portal composition and keep an eye on the result to see if you need to increase the blur amount or not. We have to add some light projection and reflection also, so this part will depend on your scene, like if you have a glass or mirror or water, you might want to pay attention to add reflection to make the effect looks like it's actually in the scene. So I'm going to show you how I do that in my scene. So to create a light projection, create a new solid layer and choose a pink or purple color to match the portal effect. Rename your layer and hit OK. Make sure it's below all the other effects. Bring down the opacity to see the work area and draw a rough mask under the portal effect. Set back the opacity to 100%. Set a high value for the mask feather and mask expansion. Set the layer mode to overlay. And add a glow effect and change the glow radius and intensity a little bit. Adjust mask feather and expansion if needed. Link this layer to the tracking layer and add a turbulent displace and put in time expression, time asterisk 400. Now let's create a reflection in the water. Duplicate the portal composition, rename it, and open it and remove the tracking layer. Go back in the main comp and drag this reflection comp in the composition. Set it to screen and activate the 3D mode. Now change the rotation, position, and scale to suit the scene. Link it to the tracking layer and draw a mask around the water. Hide the layer if needed. Now increase the mask feather and decrease the expansion. Reduce the opacity to 50% or 60% and drag this reflection layer under all the other effects layer. You can add a wiggle expression to the light projection layer, type in wiggle parentheses 20 for the frequency, comma 30 for the amplitude. And now let's add some basic color gradient to the final scene. Add an adjustment layer and rename it. Search for levels and add it to the layer. Change the value to make the scene darker, Search for selective colors and add it also. Change the greens, blues, and white. Create a black solid layer to add a dark corner edge. Use the mask tool to draw our circle, invert the mask, and go way up with the feather and expansion. Then we will create a light flickering effect. To do that, create an adjustment layer. Search for exposure and drag it to the layer. Alt click on the exposure clock watch and type in wiggle parentheses 10,0.3. And finally, activate the motion blur on all the effects. We could have added more elements in this scene to make it more realistic, such as lens sphere, embers, dust, tremble, but for the sake of today's tutorial, we will stop right there. So that is how you can create your own portal effect. So if you like this video, do leave a like and subscribe to the channel to help support us. And if you have any question, feel free to leave it in the comment below so I can read and answer you. And then until next time, Take care and I will see you in the next video.